it's important also to teach goodness to the child and let the child catch it from your behavior. This is part of resourcefulness. We've spoke, touched on it a little bit, but let the child catch it from your behavior. You know, how you treat your spouse, your child will treat his or her spouse in most cases. Some cases, maybe not, but in most cases. So it's important for us, very, very important for us, to go out and to speak or to make sure that the children that are witnessing us get the good example. They see, they learn from us. Go out of your way to address your spouse with respect, to utter words of goodness, words of love. Address with respect, you know. Uh, listen to each other in a way that your children can see that, oh, when mom says something, dad gives it importance. So when I get married, I'm going to give what my wife says a lot of importance. Yes. Why? Because they learnt it. They saw that it worked. And they saw that mom is smiling and happy. But mom is crying, depressed. When dad comes, he's in the living room watching TV. Mom says something, he doesn't give an answer. Then he starts screaming and yelling. Then he goes and complains to his friends on the phone. And he does this and so on. Children are watching. Believe me, they think that when you get married, well, she's just a worker. She's here to cook your food. And she's here for your mother to take control of. That's what they think. Really, in a lot of homes, mothers take control of wives, of their children. So, if I get married, and my mother takes control of who I'm married to. Is that why you were married? Well, if, if that's the trend we're set, then obviously it's the wrong thing, it's the wrong trend. We should have a good relation, but it must not be that. And we, we, we need to have a habit. I have a habit. I explain to my mom how much I love her. And I tell her, look mom, this is a line. Here's a beautiful line. Please don't cross it. There you are. I love you so much. You, nobody can take your place. But here's a line you don't cross, my beloved mom. These are my wives. You want to say something? Tell it to me. I'll tell them. I can say it in a better way. It happens. It works. And sometimes when, when, there, when there may be a misunderstanding, and misunderstandings do happen, we have to take control. And the children are watching us. They know what's happening. They can see. So dad comes in, you have to be a powerful figure with love. With love. But you have to be someone who cannot be trampled over. Affection. Your mother must never feel that you don't love her. No, you do. But she must know that, you know what, you cannot come and boss around my wife. Because that's my wife. And that doesn't mean I don't love you. I really do love you. Maybe you cannot word it how I'm wording it to you now. But in your own way, you need to say things. Because parenting and a successful parent can only be a successful parent when they have minimized their own issues. I've got issues in my home with my... For a woman will tell you, I've got issues with my husband and with my mother-in-law and so on. How can you expect that woman to be a successful parent? There's going to be some form of shortage in her upbringing of her children because she's busy with her fighting her own battles. So to create that beautiful environment is the duty of the man. And this is why you cannot impose on your spouse to live in an oppressive house where people are trampling all over your spouse. You need to do something positive about it because that is how you will help the next generation. Otherwise all we're doing is we're just completing the circle and let it carry on and on and on and for generations to come people are going to be oppressing each other because we couldn't stand up in a beautiful way. In a beautiful way. We're not saying go to the house and start creating a disaster. No. In a beautiful way. So it's important for us to know that inshallah. And I know I've touched on it. It's a, it's a, very, it's a topic that might affect a lot of people. And people might uh, you know, appreciate what was said. But at the same time, I hope and I pray that less people, less people are being affected by it as time passes. Because it is us who can make a difference. You know when your children are married, give them their space. Give them a little bit of their freedom. Uh, make sure that you don't want to control every aspect of their lives and so on. Uh, you have already... You should have already given them the skills to uh, manage their own lives by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.